Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today I'm going to show you the long waiting shari. I've been making this shari for a while and I usually got a little bit time every day to make it. And these kind of saris you cannot make it in one day. It might take you um, 10 days maybe. Every day you work little little. But you have to have a specific area designated area where you put it on the ground as I show you on my Jardosi sari design where you have to set it up on the ground with the clips and you will be using this kind of clip or cloth pin to set it up on the ground you go see my Jardosi sari design video then you will see how to set it up on the ground so I'm going to open this one and show you how much decoration in it so this is a blue siphon and I got it, uh, I believe one of the craft store, I will give you the name, fabric and craft store and I get it. Usually I use my coupon to buy these siphon saris and siphon fabrics and turn it into a sari with decoration Um usually for sari you need about 6 yards. So this is actually this is going to be the pallu section whole entire body has this design i decided not to make it too clutter this one just keep it very simple so the whole body has this design and the bottom has this one it's just this same design this one into a bigger form when i did this one see this one i have one rhinestone in the middle and then i have a sequence all over the sides and this one i made it in a little bit bigger so after the one sequence i went to the second round with the sequence and over here i put three sequence in a row so it has like a snowflakes it has eight hands here for this side for this side so center you put a rhinestone and then you go around with your either similar or any contrasting color sequence so I prefer for this one blue kind of look nice and these rhinestones also came in a big box and I will put the store name as well where I got them uh, in the box there are many different sizes and colors so this uh, specific uh, light blue rhinestone looked good in this fabric so I used that one and these are actually hair bands where I showed you previously how to take out the sequence from the hair band and use it in your fabric. So I have used this sequence from the hair band. I took it out because that's the best way to find all different sorts of colors. And so here I added three on each of these snowflakes hands. And I have eight of these, so I had three in each and eight rhinestone all around. So this is the bottom part. And this same flower, I will be adding about eight of this in this side to make the pandu. And at the bottom, I added a trim. This trim, just a simple trim. I got this one from a craft store too. And I might add some rhinestone to it at the moment. I haven't decided because... This one I really want to make it very light, not too much decoration. So, entire body has this tiny little flower. At the bottom, it has the little bit bigger snowflakes. And at the pallu section, I will do this bigger snowflakes, about eight of these. And that's pretty much, I want to keep it very simple for this one. Because I made others uh, too crowded, so few of them I would like to keep it very simple so I can wear it everywhere, you know. Now, this really turned out to be really beautiful. Only problem I encounter while doing this is since this is siphon fabric, it's very difficult to keep a straight line because uh, this fabric is kind of very hard to handle. If it's a cotton one, it's easy to keep a straight line. The siphon and silk is very hard. But at the same time, if you see the decoration, it really looks amazing with the siphon 
or the silk or the velvet uh, way better than cotton fabric and this one you have to hand wash and hang it to dry and the work is really amazing looks really beautiful because of this fabric being siphon so that's six yards of fabric with this design now i'm going to show you in an, another fabric how i did this one because this one is complete and i might just add eight more flowers in the pallu section but that's all so that's over here i started a different flower and i did two of these but then i ran into a problem of finding this bigger sequence i had two packs which finished and then i couldn't find this bigger sequence so i have two different flowers but this is at the very beginning so this will go inside and then these flowers had uh, i put uh, little tiny little beads on top of them as well but then i move on to this design because i found this sequence and i bought it at the same time large quantities and then i get the rhinestone i got bought that one large quantities whenever you're doing a sari a design be sure to buy large quantities of the sequence or the rhinestone because later you will run into a problem of not finding enough so now i will show you how i did that So this is the design is going to be outside. Now for this, the materials you will be needing is definitely the glitter dimensional fabric paint which I use for everything. This is very paints, glittery paints last, very strong glue. So. As I mentioned to you before you do the project, make sure you put a white color or a black color bed sit underneath your sari and then you set it up and make it very tight with this cloth prints all around. Make sure it's flat, smooth, tight. And we're going to be using this one for the glue and I want to show you where I got the sequence from. These are the hair bands. You can buy it in any craft store. It's very cheap. If you use your coupon, it even gets to be more cheaper. So, what you need to do for these is you have to cut it. Usually go like this. So, once you cut the whole thing like this be, be sure not to cut your sequences and you have to for this you need a lot of patience so once you do that you will come up to something like this little little pieces when you get little little pieces like that then you'll see it's easy to go around and get out your sequence so you see the sequence coming up so I gather them in this or you can gather them in anything like this so when you have time you're watching telly or something you can do this and get out all your sequences out at the same time and then later you can use them for a project so every time you run into like it's not coming out then you cut little bit and then you see it will be coming out again 
So like this, you will gather your sequins from this. Eventually, once you got through this entire hairband, you will have thousands of sequins. But it's a little bit time consuming and you need to be patient with this. Now rhinestone, I had a huge box. It came from one of the craft stores, I'll give you the name. And it had all sorts of, I'm putting this light blue. I could have used this blue, but the light blue looked good on it. So this one I can use as well. I'm going to use it in another blue sari. I just wanted to show you what kind of rhinestone I use. And the design was very basic. So remember when you do the design, you have to put something like a bed seat. Let me show you in this one. This one I'm going to make first. So I might as well just use this design for that for in the sari. So now, if I am doing like this, you see, I double the fabric, and I cannot just make my design here, because then these two fabrics will be glued together. As I mentioned, there's the paint slash glue, so it will glue these two fabrics. So in order to do that, you have to separate the fabric like this, and you use a bed sheet. And when you draw a flower or anything, you will be using the chalk. So I can do the flower right here in this center, the big one. And I'm going to use this one to make a purse which goes with that sari. Now I have So first you put uh, just the small flowers I'm showing, the one all over the body was I put a little bit of this bitter dimensional fabric paint and you use your rhinestone and just set it up on top like this and you put a gentle pressure at the center. So you see you have a beautiful trim all around. Now. You put about seven or eight all around the side, tiny little dots. I believe it's eight. And you can set it up here, I can set it next to it up to you and then you take little bit of this glue slash paint and then you bring it here and attach don't press too much just the light press so it goes inside the paint slash glue and holds on to it as long as you have enough it will not fall off So remember this one, the decoration looks very pretty once it dries, when it's wet, it doesn't look good. Now we have the flower, the actual flower which is all over the body. This is the actual flower which is all over the body. And now we're going to do the snowflakes. So for that, first we use three and we're what we're doing is draw hands all four sides. So we're putting three dots for initially. Two, three. And here also same. So four, all four sides we put three dots. 
Now in the middle, we go in the center and same thing, we put three dots. And make sure there's a little bit space in between the dots, but not too much space. Okay, now we will decorate it. We're almost there. Okay, now we're done with the star. And now, what I did for the, on top of it, is another dot where I added another rhinestone. So here, I'm going to be using this one because I think I ran out of the other color. So I'm using this blue. Hold the rhinestone and just drop it. And then you press. These are big, so they won't be... You can pick them up with the tweezer. But So this kind of blending with the color, but the other light blue kind of gave it a real different look. But these rhinestones, they come in a big, kind of like a box, and they have all different sorts of sizes, colors, and shapes. Now, these are all different colors of blue, if you like blue. And then they have all different other colors. So we got through the small flower and the big flower. So this was the flower for the entire sari decoration. These are the one went at the bottom. You can do this one in the body too, but this will be really a lot of work for doing in the body because throughout the whole body you may need 100 flowers. So I just kept it at the bottom and in the pallu and the body you can just give little flowers and now you will leave it like this for uh, at least one or two hours and then you see it will dry it up and get set and then you can just separate it by gently pull do not pull hard then your rhinestone will come out you gently pull out and you hand wash and dry it hanging and they will stay like this for a long long time let me show you the sari one more time so this is the design short form you use all around the body and the bigger uh, the snowflakes you use at the pallu and at the bottom
so this was the sari see this uh, light blue color actually created the beauty and i could have used the dark blue but light blue goes really well with it so you can create a sari like this and if you do create it please post it on my facebook fan page this is melody from home garden and fashion don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm going to be doing my next one on two different these colors this is the one it's going to be my next one now this was uh, had very light decoration and i change it to heavy one with these i'm using a white big rhinestone and black sequence now you see it came like this and i'm changing it to this so it had light decoration and i'm going to be posting this one next once i'm done with it it will take a little bit of time to finish this one because this has a lot of flowers as you see so this has a lot of work and I'm adding to it more so it will be really gorgeous and I am planning to do this one next now I need your advice on this one let me know should I use black rhinestone and black sequence on it or yellow so I will be waiting for your reply to see what do you prefer for this one yellow rhinestone and yellow sequence or the black rhinestone and black sequence I already put this um, trim in it now take it off one side and show it for one video to how to put the trim now I did buy a black trim just completely black I can use that one so let me know your response for this. Thank you.